Oof. Those videos were horrible back then. But if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here right now making this video. So with that said, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another great day with your boy, Big Daddy. How's everybody doing? Happy New Year's to everybody. Yes, I know New Year's not technically here yet. We're still three days away. But some news. I'm making three videos for the upcoming days up to New Year's, you know. Something for you guys is a little special. So with that said, let's get the video one started. Today's episode is brought to you by Big Daddy's Glaze. When you want that that those breasts to look shiny, delicious, just so tempting. Put a little Big Daddy glaze on, uh, glaze on it. You know, once I'm on it, everything looks good. Oh, yeah. Oh, and for y'all wondering, I'm talking about chicken. Perfect. <laughs> so, what is going on? This is what's going on. I have three videos coming out. Today's one, tomorrow's another one, and then New Year's Eve, that's be the third one. Especially for you guys. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to do something different. Something not like the regular show and check it out it's gonna have each video is gonna have a certain theme that I'm gonna talk about and these things themes are past present and future reason being because that's a little model that I have I learn from my past live today and prepare for tomorrow and I want to share this information with you guys and my little thoughts on it so how am I gonna go about this let's get this started First off, just for you guys who don't know, despite of the young look, the great skin, the incredible hair, and no ball spots, yes, leave no ball spots, I'm actually old, people. Mm-hmm. Big Daddy's old. I was born in 1983. <gasps> a lot of things have changed from back then. Let me tell you a little bit about those years. Back when, there's a lot of things that isn't like it is now. First of all, you got computers are everywhere. When I was born, hardly anybody had a computer, really, unless you were like studying computers or in the government working computers or something like that. Most people didn't have computers. Most people didn't even know what a computer was, let alone how to use one. And now look at everything. Everything is a computer this, computer that. Wow, look at that sexy guy on the screen. And now, technology, oof. if we only saw what is going on now, back when, I probably would be a rich man, that's for sure. <laughs> but things have changed, culturally, technology, the way we perceive things, the way we are with each other. I'm, I, I really think in the 80s and 90s, people were more angry, more cruel, although there were a lot of things going on. And they were really, really bad. Things are, in my opinion, are getting better. I don't care what the TV says. I don't care, you know, what the news is showing. Every day there's bad things going on. There's bad things all over the world. Always, 24-7, whether you read about it, hear about it or not. It does happen, people. There are bad things. But it was worse back then. You guys weren't around for the beginning of the uh, drug war in the 80s. The crack epidemic, I should say. Now we have a heroin epidemic and a crystal meth epidemic, but still, people are smarter now. We're more educated. Uh, you know, we know where these things are coming from. We know who's involved and whatnot in a, to a certain form. We are now placing uh, bad guys in certain places, I mean, in certain, you know, lights where more people can see the truth. Marijuana is not the big killer drug that people used to talk about. It's marijuana is more acceptable drugs. A lot of things have changed. A lot of things. Ooh, diversity, unity. Oh my goodness. Uh, different class. You should check it out. When I was growing up, an African American uh, female and a white male or vice versa was not acceptable. It happened very seldomly. It did happen. But it was frowned upon. Now nobody gives two looks at the situation. You see a black chick with a black, I mean, a white guy or a white chick with a black dude. Nobody cares anymore because it now we have grown, we have matured. I actually enjoy the kind of society sometimes that we live in. Of course, we're losing a lot of our, you know, we're losing a lot at the same time though. Things that we should keep. Aww. We're just. 
forgetting about him, modesty. Modesty has really gone out the window, as you can tell with all the things that go on in the media. Hmm. But I think it's for the best. It's, we're no longer children in this country. We are getting mature. We're communicating with each other. We, you know, drinking and driving has really changed. I remember when I was small, drinking and driving were the most likely thing that would kill a person. Now, if you drink and drive, ooh, they come at you hard, and nobody wants to get a DUI. I had a DUI once. To this day, it still affects me. I don't recommend you guys drink and drive. New Year's, Uber. That's all I gotta say, Uber. But besides that, man, it's so many things have changed in the 80s, in the 90s, in the early 2000s, and now we're not even in the early 2000s. We're in the 2010s, people. Time has moved on. Things have changed, and you need to do the same. But we're not going to talk about what you need to do. I don't even want to worry about what you're doing. I want to talk about other things today, like your history, the things you were taught. I know you guys went to the same kind of public school systems I did. I know you were taught the same stories. Don't forget those things. There are reasons that our elders, our teachers, our family members and old timers told us these things. It wasn't so we can just say, forget it, who cares, let's go watch a movie in the theater. No, it's so we remember those stories and learn from them and, you know, grow. So, yeah, definitely keep that in mind, people. Don't forget where you come from. Even if you were born in this country or born out of this country, always remember your roots. Remember why your parents decided to be the religions they were, even if they're not anymore. Even if you are not a religious person, find out what was the purpose of them believe was it, you know, a cult thing? Did they just grow up in that environment and so they happened to be it and did the same to you? Or was there more to it? Did your family actually believe in those certain things? I know my family changed in religion. We started, I believe, talking to my mother about it. I believe she was raised Catholic, but then converted into Christianity, and I was raised in the in different forms of Christian uh, churches, like I didn't, didn't, I wasn't taught one means of Christianity. I was taught that there are so many different kinds of Christians. And then I also, as I was growing up in elementary school, my uh, one of my teachers, who spent many many years with me in elementary school, was a Jewish woman who taught me very a lot of things about her rich culture. So I, I'm. I like the listening and learning about the Jewish culture. Not that I want to be a Jew, but then again, I wouldn't want to be anything else. I like to be me. I don't. I don't say I'm one religion myself. But you know, now we're getting off topic. What I wanted to stay at was people. Remember where you come from. Remember who you are. Don't deny your heritage. Don't deny. You know. Understand we're all Americans. That I can give. I understand. I will never deny that. But. We do come from other places. We do have our people. Like, I studied my bloodline. Whew, I don't understand racism, really. I don't. After really looking at history, genetics, uh, culture, and religion, and studying so many different things in life, yeah, I really don't understand prejudice and, you know, racism and things like that. But that's beside the point. That's the beauty of the past. You learn from them. Go find out things, all right? Why are why is your world the way it is? A lot of y'all don't know that we live in a really secure country now. We're in a very invasive country too, because they trust me. All your emails are being read if they wanted to, just like that. All your phones can be easily be tapped, and anybody could. Well, not anybody, but any government official that's really into, you know, in a certain job field of, you know, spying on people or listening for terrorists can easily just happen to fall upon your conversation. You will never know. We live in that kind of time, but go find out why and ask yourself, is that acceptable? Learn from your past and then answer this to me, people. Is that the kind of future and present that you want to live in? You know, just a little food for thought, but always think about that because what it is now wasn't what it used to be. And did we change from bad to good or good or bad, well, there's only one way to determine that. you got to determine that. And the only way you can determine that is by doing a comparison, because the only way you define something is by finding its opposite. So if you want to know if we live in a good time, go learn about your history. Mm -hmm. 
And while you're doing that, talk to your elders, whether it's your older, your mother or your father, your grandfather or your grandmother, or your uncles and aunts, or just old friends around the way, you know, in your neighborhood, in your block, in your town. Talk to people. Find out, you know, and just tell them, hey, dad, hey, grandpa, how was it when you were my age? And you will be surprised what you'll learn. And the reason I say this because old people, most old people are smart if they're not senile. And hardly any of them are senile. And don't trust anybody over 80. I learned that the hard way. People over 80 are clever. <laughs> You'll find out. But yeah, find, learn about, ask them. See what's up with them. Because with every year that passes, there's... 365 days of wisdom put in that one year to that one person. Multiply that by how many people are walking the earth consistently all the time. You're talking about vast number of experiences, knowledge, things that you would never know or experience. And you can easily find out by just asking a question. How was it? And they will be they're either going to give you two, one or two answers. Either they're going to give you a quick answer that's probably going to blow your mind or make you feel stupid. Or they're going to give you the real answer, a long answer, a story. And if they do that, then take that. Because that's pre pretty much a diamond in the rock they're giving you. Experience. Truth. Your, your family members, your elders will not lie to you. They're going to be more truthful, more factual, with more detail than any history book or any you know, documentary that you can watch on the History Channel or whatnot. So... Definitely look into that, people. Definitely look into that. I will put a joke on for the day. And here it is. So today is a little, you know, not a big one, a little one. But I thought it was cute, so I'm going to give it up to you. Let me know what you think, if you like it or not. But anyway, here's the joke. Why can't a bike stand on its own? Why can't a bike stand on its own? It's too tired. <laughs> Alright, alright, let's keep the thing moving. Alright, and now I'm going to close it up, people. Keeping this short, keeping it moving. Thank you guys for uh, stopping by and viewing the, um, the video. And remember, there's two more coming in the next two days, so I hope you guys stand by for that. Uh, thank you to everybody, all my viewers, all my subscribers. And oh, speaking of subscriber people, here's a little exciting news for me to y'all. I'm about to hit the 300 mark. Can y'all believe it? It's only been like three or four months, and I'm about to hit 300 subscribers. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. I mean, when you guys get a chance, go ahead, If especially if you're new. If you're new, I definitely recommend you go and watch my old stuff and just look at the big change that has happened, how all of this is now how it is, compared to how... Horrible, it used to be, in my opinion. I don't even like myself, but I refuse to take these videos down. <laughs> my mistakes is what makes me stand out, I believe, and I love mistakes I have made in my videos, so that's why I keep them up. I appreciate all you guys for coming by again. Thank you for all the support. Uh, please comment. I definitely want to hear comments from you guys because that's how I know what to talk about next. How you know how this video went? How you feel? I, you guys give me thumbs up all the time. There's one or two people that do the opposite, but who cares? Furry dozen eggs. You're probably bound to get one wrong and one right. So thank you for all the likes, all the chats, all everything you guys have done for me, all the supports, and keep them coming, people. Stand by. Big Daddy has more for you. So with that said. Here's the here's the with the quote of the day. And this is a nice quote. Actually, I'm not gonna lie. It's not even that. It's a, a Chinese proverb. And if you guys don't know what a proverb is, I actually found out what it really means like last night. So it's kind of cool. Find out what it means. It's pretty cool. But today's quote of the day is: The person who says it cannot be done should not interrupt the person who is doing it. That said, my friend, I'll catch you guys next time. Stand by tomorrow for the next episode. Oh, yeah.